<laughs> Dude, this is sick in here. All right, right now I'm shooting 6.2K, open gate, 24 frames per Catch second. Catch your breath first, bro. I'm sweating my yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. I recently got my hands on a pre-production unit of the Fuji X-H2S and even though I only had it for a couple of hours, there was one thing that I cared about a ton and that was testing the most cinematic settings that that camera has. This is the latest camera from Fuji and they put a lot of emphasis on making this a video first camera. Fuji excels in the photo space, but video has always been something that us as filmmakers, us as customers have longed for Fuji to really dive into. And dive into it, they have. The Fuji X-H2S can shoot 6K ProRes. That is crazy, especially considering that it's all internal. Other cameras can shoot ProRes to an external monitor, but this bad boy, 6K ProRes, that is, that is awesome. That should have filmmakers very excited. Because of that excitement, when I had the camera for two to three hours, I thought I wanna shoot something interesting and I wanna test the most cinematic settings. So that's what we did. So in this video, I want you to pixel peep. I want you to look at dynamic range, quality. We are giving you the image in the open gate format. So that is 3.2. We shot F-Log 2 and this video is uploaded in 6K. In all of its glory, we are trying to deliver you the best pixel peeping ability on YouTube. Yes, YouTube compresses videos, but we're doing our best here. caveat though is there are three ProRes codecs you can shoot, HQ, 422, and light. We did shoot light, I know, I'm sorry, but the reason is because if you shoot 422 HQ, you can record seven minutes, yes, seven minutes of footage to 128 gig card. That was surprising to me when I showed up with my two hours with this camera, so we did shoot LT in order to get 15 minutes of recording which is still not very much, but it definitely beats seven. So there is a little bit more quality you can get from 422 HQ, but ProRes 422 Lite is still an amazing codec. If you're unsure of what ProRes is or why you need it or why filmmakers always talk about it, it really is just because one, it's extremely high quality and two, it plays back well on a lot of computers in Premiere, in DaVinci, in Final Cut. It's almost seamless playback regardless of your computer. If you're watching this video thinking, I will never shoot ProRes, I don't like the big files, I totally get it. One thing Fuji has implemented in this camera that I have yet to test and that I plan to test once I get the final units is that H.265. The H.265 they're going to give you is a really good bit rate. You're going to get 700 megabits a second, which is a great speed. So the H.265 in this camera is going to be a smaller file, it's going to be an MP4 file, but it's still going to be really high quality. Everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. Even though this was a pre-production unit, I am very impressed with what I've seen from this camera. I think the 6K F-Log2 ProRes 24 frames a second 
is a filmmaker's dream and it's a small form factor and I ran around as you probably saw in the video like a wild man with that gimbal. This should have filmmakers really excited. What Fuji's giving you with this camera is much better autofocus. That was one thing I noticed immediately using this is the autofocus is a massive improvement from the previous Fuji devices. I would say it's gonna be close to rivaling my FX3 for autofocus. It has great auto tracking, it wasn't hunting a lot, and there's still other things to test with this camera once we get final units. But right now, I just wanted to let you guys know the 6K, in ProRes looks pretty darn good. And with OpenGate, you can throw an anamorphic lens on it. There's a lot you can do there with shooting the whole sensor. And I wish that's something that all camera companies would give us filmmakers, because it just gives us more flexibility, which at the end of the day, we love. So I hope you enjoyed this ranch footage. I'm probably gonna be shooting more of this ranch footage in the future, so subscribe if you wanna see stuff like that. And if you're interested in these cinematic style of videos where we really show you footage with the gear versus just breaking down the technical aspects, then subscribe, let us know in the comments. These are the videos that we actually like to make more, so if you like them too, then that's just, that's like a perfect, a perfect blend of you like it, I like it, let's make more of it and appreciate your time, appreciate you being here. Thanks y'all, see ya.